Chicago ambush, four accused of detest wrongdoings over live streamed beating video. Chicago Chicago prosecutors recorded loathe wrongdoing and other lawful offense allegations today against four individuals associated with holding an uncommon needs man hostage and striking him in a racially charged assault communicate live on Facebook. At Chicago Police at FB Chicago they erased it however Brittany Herring of Chicago posted this pic.twitter.com or E9 LOB 1 KV 3 Banks 420 Lolik Banks 420 Lol 2, January 4, 2017 An arrangement of the presumes pictures, discharged by Chicago Police Department on Facebook video of it demonstrates a scared youthful white man hunkering toward the side of a room as four dark assailants insult and beat him on occasion hollering fuck Donald Trump and fuck white individuals. The video was posted live on Facebook by one of the claimed culprits, and has since spread on the web. Police distinguished the four speculates today, three of whom were 18 years of age and the fourth 25 as Jordan Hill, Tess Faye Cooper. Brittany Covington and Tanisha Covington. Each of the four face various lawful offense allegations, including for abducting, battery and abhor violations. Police did not uncover the personality of the casualty. In the video, the casualty seemed, by all accounts, to be tied up and had conduit tape over his mouth. The two female and two male aggressors are seen trimming off parts of the casualty's garments, hitting him, and trimming some of his hair to the scalp, causing dying. The casualty, who was found by police strolling close to the scene of the assault, was recuperating subsequent to being discharged from a healing center, specialists stated, depicting him as damaged by the experience. CPD arrested and charged every one of the four guilty parties with hate crime, and also different charges. HTTPS or T.co or TQNH9 E Busy Chicago Police at Chicago Police January 5, 2017 Police said the casualty had likely been with a gathering of assailants for no less than 24 hours and upwards of 48 hours, and knew one of them from school. The casualty's guardians announced him missing on Monday in their Chicago suburb, and later got instant messages saying their child was being held hostage as indicated by the Chicago Sun-Times.